One of the improvements that Betaflight 3.4 has is its brand new rescue mode for, well, rescuing the drone in case we lose all signal, whether it being video or even radio. So, as you can currently see on the screen, the drone is returning home without me actually controlling it and completely automatically. Anyhow, let's see how to achieve this, how we configure it, and how we rescue our drone. The first thing that we'll need to make the rescue mode work is that we need to install a GPS module on our drone. This is my long range drone, and as you can see, it has a crossfire antenna. I also already added the GPS. The GPS is connected in a simple way. Like any other peripheral receptor, it's only using 5 volts with its ground, reception and transmission with one of its wards. For the beta flight configuration, we go to the PC. The first thing we gotta do is connect our drone to the program. We're currently using the 3.4 RC5 version, because they have yet to release the final one. But for now, the RC5 version of Rescue Mode works well. The step is to head to the ports and we can configure our GPS device or GPS antenna in one of the UART assets. We simply go to the sensor inputs and we define which one is a GPS. By the way, you can see here how I have it defined as a soft serial. It's a serial port, not a real port of the flight controller, so I had to do it this way. Nevertheless, we'll see in a further video how we can go ahead and add these devices even when we're missing UARTSs. Well, once we have our GPS device, I leave the velocity at 57,600, which is the velocity that allows my GPS to work. We can also set it to automatic, and if it doesn't work, you can start messing around with the velocity going from highest to lowest and test out which one does actually work. For me, 57,600 worked well. Here we save it and read it. I already done it, so I won't have to save it. Next step is to go to the configuration and now, on this part, we actually go ahead and scroll down on the screen and on its right side, we'll have the option to register our GPS as well. This option must be activated here. We select the type of protocol, which for me is UBLOX, but we also have NMEA. We leave the velocity in automatic, which is measured in box, the configuration, and let it auto-detect if it requires ground assistance. This option is not usually used, so we'll leave it in automatic. So, at the end, we have the option in case that your GPS antenna, like some of them out there, has a compass. But we don't really need a compass for rescue mode, so we can go ahead and buy a GPS antenna that's much more affordable. Because it actually works on its own, we don't need the compass. Here we just click the save and reboot button, and like I said, I've already done it, so I won't do it again. Now we head on over to the modes. On this screen is where we're going to assign the switch that we're going to use to enable the rescue mode, or GPS rescue as it's shown here on the screen. I have it set to AUX5, which is one of my switches, which you'll see later. So when I manually activate it, the drone enables the mode and it returns to its point of takeoff or, well, home. Now we click here on save and once we have this set, we go to the OSD. We define the balance for the GPS to give us a hand so that our drone can return home. Over here on top, we can see that we have the latitude and longitude. We're going to scroll down a bit and here we have the GPS longitude, which is this one. Actually, this one's latitude, and on this other side, we have longitude. And as we can see, over here is we're selecting both options, and this little arrow is always indicating where home is located, and by that I mean our drone's takeoff point. And for us to be able to show this arrow, we have to find the option that should be on the left side of the screen, 
So we scroll a bit down and here it is, home direction. So this function is going to be indicating with this arrow on the OSD the direction that we should head to. And home distance is also quite a useful option to know what is the distance that we have traveled from the point in which we took off. And I also have enabled the speed that is being shown as kilometers per hour. So we're going to also activate it. And this one will be showing the altitude of our drone. This value indicates the speed at which we're displacing vertically, by which I mean how many kilometers per hour we're going up or down. Usually for this option, we do need a barometer installed on our drone. There hasn't been a way to actually calculate this by only using a GPS. So if your flight controller does not have a barometer, this value should always be on zero. So down over here, we have the flight mode that is currently being used on the drone. Whether it being stabilized, horizon, or even angle mode. Air mode is another word for acro mode, but it will show rescue or R-E-A-S-C when it's enabled manually or due to the loss of radio signal. Okay, so we now click on the save button and with this we have the OSD properly configured. So now we go to the command line input and on the CLI we have to enable a couple of options. And by using this command line, it'll show us the rest of the commands that we'll use. And the ones that we'll actually need, or well, the most important ones, will be the following that I'll show. So the first parameter we'll, that we'll modify is GPS rescue min sats. And with this line of command, we're going to specify how many satellites must the GPS need to have found in order for us to be able to use this mode. And in this case, they can range from 0 to 50, which by default comes with a value of 8. But I set it to 6, mainly because the antenna that I use only finds 8 or sometimes 9, but it most certainly still works with 6, which is why I leave it at that value. Nevertheless, the higher the value, the better it works. Anyhow, to define it, we have to type set, the command, we hit enter, and with that, we have to find the six satellites. Our next command is going to be GPS Rescue Initial Alt. And with this, we'll be able to know how high must the drone be to use this option. By default, we have a total value of 50 meters. But I'm leaving it at 40 meters only because I'm currently testing and I don't want it to rise too much. But it really depends on where you're planning to fly it at, so keep that in mind before setting it. The value can range between 20 and a maximum of 100. And for us to define it, once again, we use set, the name of the command, and its value. Another command that we must set will be GPS Rescue Descent Dist, which defines at what distance will our drone begin to descend once it's ready to return home. In which case, I have it set to 100 meters, which actually means that whenever the drone is 100 meters away from home, it'll start to descend. Otherwise, it'll keep the altitude that the drone reaches once the rescue mode is activated. By default, this value is 200, but I leave it at 100 because at 200 meters, we may still have an obstacle on our way. Another important value is the velocity at which our drone returns home, and we're going to define it with this command. Properly specifying it using centimeters per second, as you can see, I have it set to 750 centimeters per second, which is about 27 kilometers per hour. But you can set it to whatever value you want, which by default is 2000, which may be a bit too fast, but with the test I've done with 750, it returns to an average of 35 kilometers per hour, so it may be a good idea to give it a bit more speed. Anyhow, we define it with set, the command equals to the velocity that we want it to return using centimeters per second, and there we have it set. Our next command will allow us to define at what will be the angle at which the drone will fly back. And by that I mean the maximum inclination it'll return home. This value comes at 32 degrees by default and we can max it at 45 degrees 
but by using this value, the drone may struggle to keep its altitude due to its steep inclination. So I believe that we may have to tweak it depending on the power of the drone's motors, which will let us know the best angle. So for now, I've been leaving it at the default 32 and it has been working just fine. To finish up, we must not forget to save our changes, and once we do this, our drone will reboot and we'll be ready to start doing some testing. So let's go outside and see how it goes. Alright, as you can see, we have just turned the drone on and the satellites are blinking on zero because it has yet to find its position. So give it about a minute. Anyhow, in my case, I use this switch to arm my drone and it shows me the word GPS, which is in fact an error. So the reason why the drone is not arming is because whenever we enable rescue mode the satellites must be correctly positioned or rather the drone will not arm with this mode enable unless we have at least six satellites over on the top of the screen we can see how it's now calculating the position which is why the numbers may start to show up but we must wait Usually, depending on what antenna you have, it may take two or even three minutes. And as you can see, we now have four satellites, but try to wait until you have at least six. We now have five satellites, and it lets us arm our drone. But let's wait until we have all six satellites. Alright, we now have all six, which means that our drone has a better positioning. And let's begin with the testing. On the top of the screen, we'll be able to see the direction of home and the distance that we have. Okay, let's turn on our dear rescue mode. And without touching the controller, we can see how it returns. The drone now starts the descent automatically. And we have to restore control or else the drone drops. Very well, if you were able to test your drone and it works with the manual switch to turn on rescue mode, what I would recommend is to leave it on automatic mode in case our drone loses radio signal from our controller, and for this, we head on over again to Betaflight. And on the command line input screen, you go ahead and use the command that I'm about to type. The command is set failsafe procedure equals GPS rescue. With this command, the drone will no longer care about whatever we can figure on what would be the failsafe option. It'll simply listen to what we're setting here with this command, which we can't modify using a graphic interface yet. So that's why we must do it through the command line input. We then go on to click on save, so once we do this, we'll have our drone configured so that whenever it loses radio signal, it will automatically launch our commands to enable the rescue mode and once again attempt to return home using the parameters that we have set for it. And with that, I wish you all good luck and time to not lose your drones. Goodbye.